Today I'm in the Alligator National Wildlife Refuge, Alligator River in North Carolina, home of Canis rufus, also known as the Red Wolf, one of the most endangered canids in the world. Say hi, Luna. The Red Wolf Wild Recovery Program started right here. A little history for you. Red wolves once thrived in the southeastern U.S., but when European settlers arrived, they started wiping them out. And by the early 1970s, they were nearly gone. So, U.S. Fish and Wildlife caught all the remaining ones in the wild and started a captive breeding program. Fast forward to 1987, they started releasing them into the National Alligator Wildlife Refuge here in North Carolina, eastern North Carolina, that is. The program did really well with the population, rose to as many as 100 to 120 individuals in 2012, but due to the lack of regulation enforcement on poachers by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service law enforcement, the population has declined to 40 individuals in 2018 and about 14 in 2019 and 8 as of October 2021. Now the program has been rebooted and there are now about 24 in the wild and this is where they live. Uh, one problem they've had out here is photographers and wildlife watchers getting a little too close to bear and red wolves and um, this is what you see here with people getting too close to a mama bear poor thing she's watching out for one of her cubs on the other side of the road if you want to learn even more about red wolves look up the red wolf coalition and um u.s fish and wildlife red wolf recovery you like this video and want to learn more about wolves, wolf dogs, and dogs, please hit the like button and subscribe.